Hey guys, welcome back to Resin Bell. I am just getting over the flu, y'all, and it hit me like Christmas Eve, day before Christmas Eve, and it has lasted all week. <laughs> but I'm finally able to get back to work here, and I have some cool things I'm going to share with you guys. Um, the folks at Tea Expert, uh, um, Tea Expert? tea expert. I'm not sure. You guys tell me. <laughs> anyway, they're an Amazon company and they have a lot of different resin supplies and craft supplies and stuff. They have so many products. I'm going to be linking all these things in the description box down below. Go check them out. They have so much awesome, awesome stuff. So, um, they sent me a package of their um, UV resistant resin which I'm really excited to try out. That's going to be awesome. And it's got all of the materials that you need to get started. It's got the resin, 3X resin. And it's got a little package with some gloves, some uh, mixing stirs, and some cups. And then it has instructions on how to do it. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited to try out their resin. And... They also sent me this package here, and whoops! And this is their silicone rubber. So really excited to try out their silicone mold making materials. Okay, and then um, it also comes with gloves that I dropped on the floor just now. <laughs> Instructions and all kinds of information about their website and their their materials and stuff so I'm pretty excited to try out their um, silicone rubber as well and then also we're gonna be opening up and trying out their resin curing machine so I have tried one before and I'm excited to try theirs because it seems like theirs is maybe made a little bit better than the one that I had tried out but we'll test it out and see they said that theirs um, will help speed the curing time of resin as well as silicone. So we're going to try that out. And uh, we're going to open this up. I'm going to pull everything out and then we'll, we'll show you that at the end. Okay, you guys. So I'm already loving some of the design feature upgrades in, this, um, in their version. Uh, much better than the other ones I have tried. And um, for one thing, the very first thing right on the top. The handle is actually deep enough to actually get a hold of. Some of the other ones I've tried, it's just barely an indentation and it's round and it's difficult to grab hold of unless you grab both sides. So, you know, having an actual handle for your lid is pretty awesome. Okay, number two, they have these um, extenders you can get, uh, which um, is just a silicone extender and it just kind of pushes down around the edge and that gives you a space for pretty deep mold I mean that's pretty thick so um, beyond that if you have some molds that are short then you can get those in there and those are perfect but you can also rotate your tray which this is like some of the other ones but um, you can get a much deeper um, mold that way but this one with the extender on there you can get a pretty deep mold so that's pretty cool um i love the look of it it's very classy looking it's kind of like a an off-white with gold accents and we're gonna try this out we're gonna try out their resin and we're gonna make a little mold and we're gonna stick them in there and we'll see how it works Okay, one other thing that I love, love, love about these trays. Okay, some of the other ones, this little ring here, it sticks up. So anytime you try to lay a larger mold over the top, you're going to have it tilting up and causing it to be uneven. This one is flat. It's completely flat. You can set your molds there and there's no difference in height and it's not going to cause any warping or anything like that. So, yay. So, yeah. That's pretty darned awesome, I think. Super cool. Also, one other thing, always be sure you're wearing a resin 
uh, appropriate mask when you're using resin um, for vapors, organic vapors. And I got this one from Counterculture DIY and I kind of embellished it a little bit. Um, and also wear your gloves because you don't want to get that stuff on your skin and cause yourself to have an allergic reaction. So yeah. Okay, so I think I'm just going to use this little mold here that I've had for a while. I don't remember where I got that. It was from a seller on Etsy. I wish I could remember, but I don't. So this is one of my mold casings that I'm going to be making a clear silicone mold that I can use with UV resin. So this resin is a fairly thin resin, and which kind of lends to the uh, length of time it needs to cure. 24 to 48 hours. Usually thinner resins will take a little bit longer. Um, the silicone is a two-part silicone by weight, so be sure to weigh it. If you measure it by volume, you're going to get an improper ratio and it may not cure. So be sure you keep an eye on that. Uh, so I'm just going to mix these two parts together and then we'll throw all these things into this machine and see how well it cures. Okay, so on this resin, the work time is uh, 30 to 40 minutes. Cure time is 24 to 48 hours. Mix one to one by volume. And the silicone is one to one by weight. Mixing time five minutes to make sure it's all mixed really well. And cure time is 24 to 72 hours. So we're going to try this and see if we can speed it up in the curing machine. So on this side you have your time. You can turn it from 1 to 12 hours. I'm just going to put it on, let's say, 2 hours and 40 minutes. And on this side you have from 270 degrees down to 235. Uh, so I'm going to put it on a fairly lower, let's go, let's go 240 and see what that does. I don't want to boil anything, I just want to dry it. So I'm going to put the rack, top rack back on. Okay, since I have this, um, I'm going to turn this around so it will set up higher. Since I have that taller one in there, and that will set it up. And then I'll turn this on. And then I'm going to turn it on. And you push that button in to turn it on. So we'll come back in two hours and 40 minutes and we'll check on the progress. Okay guys, so let me turn this light back on. This is all done and let's see where we're at. See if we need more time. Okay. It's done seems to be done. Let's check it out a little closer. This one needs a little bit more time. As you can see, I've left a little bit of a, a fingerprint in it, but uh, so it's a little, little soft still. You can still see it moving a little bit, but overall, I mean, the fact that I can touch it and it's not sticky, but it's still pretty soft. So I'm gonna let that cure a little bit longer. Let's try this one since, um, wow, that's crazy. I didn't realize you could use these for curing, um, silicone. So this one I didn't have quite enough to fill it up, so I'm just kind of using this as my, you know, before they're ready kind of test one, and it seems like it's ready. But, yeah, no, that's, a. Uh, that's pretty much cured. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's not sticky, it's completely 
completely cured in two hours. That's a little over two hours. That's pretty crazy for a silicone mold. I mean, that's awesome. Let's check that out. Peel this out. Just like, wow. That's insane, you guys. To get a completely cured silicone mold in just a, just a little over two hours, that's really crazy. Like, wow. Holy cow. And this is really clear. I don't see any kind of um, really bubble issues. There's a little bit of bubble issue right here in the cat. You can kind of see it right there. But... I'm not really going to put that up to the silicone because um, this <laughs> this mold is actually kind of notorious for that for me. If I don't smear in the silicone, then it does kind of tend to trap bubbles because it was a uh, because of the texture that's in that. Um, so yeah, I would definitely since this was just a test to you know check out the silicone. Everywhere else you can see there's like, you know, a normal area. There's no bubbles. There's no, I mean, like right here, resin bell came out really well. All right, so I'm going to give this probably another, see if this one's really thin and you can see just how bendy it is, but I can touch it and rub it and it doesn't leave any spots. But if I push my finger into it, I can kind of leave a fingerprint you can see right there so it needs just a little bit longer I'm gonna turn the machine back on and we'll just uh, we'll just go ahead and turn it back on for a couple of maybe two more hours almost three hours and we'll just let it finish curing okay let's check this out real quick here see what it looks like now it's still a little bit soft um, but definitely much stiffer than it was like I don't think I could no I can't put a fingerprint in it anymore it's still pretty bendy this is some fairly bendy resin um, so we'll see what it looks like really quite clear it's a very clear resin for sure undo this one here yeah definitely can touch it now and it's not a problem so it went through two uh, two and a half hour cures and then it's been sitting for about 30 minutes so um, it turned uh, like a one to two day cure into you know five hours approximately you can see just how clear this is it's got a couple of little bubbles but it's mostly um i didn't use a heat gun on it so i could have popped those bubbles i was just looking to see you know what it was like um it's a pretty slow curing resin but it seems to be really nice gloss on it for sure um and it's very nice and clear so really cool I'm um, excited to try this resin out and some different things this thing works amazingly well I love the new designs and uh, you know it cures resin quickly as well as um, silicone so that's pretty awesome I mean that's pretty cool I didn't know you could cure the silicone in it as well so, so I love this I love the um, the extra silicone spacer so that you can get much taller molds so you can kind of see approximately what that's like and you just slide that right down over the edge it takes a second to get it in there but I mean it goes on pretty well pretty sturdy and uh, yeah so you can do quite a bit taller molds and uh, I, I really like this machine. This is uh, pretty well thought out. Uh, and, uh, definitely check that out. I'm going to show put all the links in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching. 
Okay, yeah, so thanks guys for watching my review of the Tea Expert um, Resin Speed Cure and their 3x resin and their silicone uh, all the links for these products will be in the description box below thank you so much for watching hit that like button and that subscribe button and i will see you in the next video bye